In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to mask in Stop Motion Studio. There are two ways that I hold up my subject before masking. One would be an arm like this, which can reach lots of different angles. But in this tutorial, I'm going to be using clear bricks because it casts less of a shadow on the scene, and I generally like using clear bricks better. And then I use some sticky tack on top so that I can angle the subject in whatever way I want. So here I'm going to animate a minifigure jumping, and before he does that I'm going to animate a few steps here, but the key thing that saves me so much time is taking a masking frame right before each and every picture that's going to be masked. The way Stop Motion Studios masking works, it saves a lot of time to take a masking picture in between each frame that needs to be masked, instead of having one masking frame that you have to go back to and select for every frame. So since I take all of my pictures on my camera and not directly in stop motion studio, I need to come in here and upload them first. And then now I'm ready to start masking. In stop motion studio, when you go to erase, you can start masking. And by default, the masking frame is going to be the last frame, the frame before the frame you chose to edit. So, and then I'm just going to erase the piece of clay. Since we have cheese slope's shadow right here, I usually just erase the entire shadow even though it's not completely realistic. That's the cleanest look that you can get with your masking because otherwise you'll have contrast between where you masked and the shadow, so I usually just erase the entire shadow. And then the next picture you'll see it's another masking frame. So you go to the next. So what makes this so quick and easy is that you already have the masking image in place. And all you need to do is you just need to skip to the next picture you want to mask and you can erase it right away. I don't have to set the uh, masking frame or anything, I just skip to the next one. So if you don't want to take another masking frame like very frequently throughout your animating, you can take one masking frame for the computer version specifically I will take one masking frame, copy it, and then paste it at the very beginning of my project so that when I go to uh, the next picture that I need to mask, this one right here, go to erase, go to here to set my masking frame, and it's right there. I can just select the first one. On the computer version, you have to scroll to the picture that you're masking and then look for your masking frame. But if you, if you paste the picture at the beginning of your project, it's just right there that you can click. So that also saves a lot of time. Okay, so I got all of the pictures masked now. So then, of course, you just need to go back and delete all of your masking frames. And then you should have the finished project. And that's how I mask quickly in Stop Motion Studio. Thanks for watching.